Hello everyone, welcome back to Clash of Clans. Today I'm gonna talk about how to lure clan castle troops and how to not make them fail your attack and not get zero stars because you didn't kill the clan castle troops. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. It would be greatly appreciated. Let's get started. So I'm gonna describe a specific uh, luring strategy for Tahoe 9, 8, 7, and 6. We're gonna go down from the top. Uh, I am Town Hall 11, however, I only have Town Hall uh, 9 base and 9 troops right now, so I'm not going to really talk about how to take the take out the Clan Castle troops for Town Hall 10s. Now, let's get started. So, how do you kill Clan Castle troops for Town Hall 9s? Let's get in the Clan War, uh, in the previous war, and let's take a look at what I did uh, in my attack. Right over here, so what I use, I use a Govaho, however, one of my hogs is gonna be strictly for alluring the clan castle troops. Now if you guys look at this, if you guys click, before you even attack, you should be going and scouting the base. Don't attack blindfolded, that would be uh, pretty a bad idea, that would be a, just a shit idea to attack anyone without even looking at their base. Obviously for multiplayer you cannot do that, you have 30 seconds before the attack starts, but for war you have 24 hours to uh, decide on a, an efficient attack strategy. So if you guys click on the clan castle troop or can, clan castle itself on the CC That's what I'm gonna call it. I don't want to keep saying clan castle If you click on the CC you will see the range and as you guys can see if I drop any hogs on here on the on the Two o'clock side. I am not gonna lure the clan castle troops. If I drop them on the bottom I will not lure any but if I drop it on the top of left right over here I might be able to lure the clan castle troops because there are no defenses outside. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop one hog to lure the clan castle troops and then move them. This is super important, you guys. For Tau 8 and Tau 9, you need to lure clan castle troops to the wall that you are gonna attack from. Do not lure them to a corner. Some people just, like, if, for example, this uh, might have a dragon or might have a witch or valkyrie, whatever it is. Some people lure it all the way to a corner and then drop like 20 wizards on there. This is really bad idea for Town 9 and Town 8 because you are wasting wizards. You have golems for a reason, they are the tanks. So, what you guys are gonna do is drop a hog. Hogs are usually uh, the best because balloons are not gonna lure air troops. Uh, such as balloons, they will lure uh, dragons, but they're not gonna take uh, balloons out. So, as you guys can see, the clan castle troops actually came out. What I'm gonna do is either bring one archer, put it in the corner, or just start with the golems. So, I'm gonna attack from this side, that's where I'm gonna lure. I'm starting with the golems, they are distracting the Valkyrie and the Wizzies. I, if I have a poison, I dropped it, I dropped my Wizzies, my heroes to take out the clan castle troops. Look at this. My other golem is full health. My this the first golem is about to die. That's fine. Uh, the clan castle troops are out. I took them out, and at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy the base. I'm not gonna show you guys that attack because this video is only about clan castle troops. Let's take a look at how to lure at Town Hall Eight. For Town Hall Eight, the same strategy. You want to lure it with one hog, and then lure it to the wall you want to attack from, not a corner. This is going to be different for Town Hall 6s once we get there. So, he's going to lure with the Hog. Perfect, the Dragon came out with uh, one Archer, I believe, or, and one Wizzy. He's going to lure it, he's going to drop one Archer or one Wizard in the corner just to move them to the wall. He's going to attack from this side, from the bottom. You guys will see in a second, he's going to start dropping his Golems and Wizzies. There we go, Golem first, wait! Now you guys are going to wait for the uh, Dragon to get distracted by the Golem. Now he's dropping the Poison Wizards. They're going to kill the Dragon within a few seconds, and the Golem is still alive. Boom! Clan Castle troops are dead. How long did they take? 10 seconds, 15 seconds, it didn't take a minute. At this point, it's going to be a 3 star. Let's take a look at Town 7. So for Town 7s, it's a little bit different. We have H-Town, which is a Town 7 attacking a Town 7. Town 7s do not really need to lure the Clan Castle troops because their dragons are so powerful, they're gonna take out any troops they can find. Um, I'm gonna actually uh, speed this up as soon. I don't believe he lured the Clan Castle troops in this one. Let me see what he did. He took out the air defense as usual. Uh, he dropped a few. 
uh, a few dragons on the clan castle. Usually you don't need to drop any uh, dragons on the clan castle. Uh, you can just drop them as close to the air defense as you can so you can take out the air defense. But because it is dragons, they are so strong and so powerful. Tunnel sevens do not really need to lure clan castle troops. This is different if you are using hogs or giants, which you, you should not be using as tunnel seven. You, should, you guys should be using dragons at war, but for dragons attack, you don't need to lure the clan castle troops. Let's move on to town hall six. So how does a town six lure? Let me see, I, Emilia, right over here. She is a town six going against a town six. Now this is a little bit of a rush base, doesn't matter. She's still gonna lure. What she does is dropping one archer, Usually you want to drop one archer and then another one just to verify that every single clan castle troop came out. She's going to drop one archer in the corner. Uh, however, she did one mistake where she dropped another archer in a different corner. And so the clan castle troops were like, uh, I'm confused. Which corner do I go to? Don't do that. Uh, just drop one archer and just wait. This is going to take a little bit longer. This is going to take an extra 10 or 15 seconds. But that will help you. Because if you don't kill Clan Castle troops, you're going to get a 0 star. That's a guarantee. And now for Tower 6s, how, you can, how you, can you kill Clan Castle troops is by using a bunch of archers in a circle. If you drop them in one place, one wizard is going to kill them. You want to drop your archers in a circle around the Clan Castle troops. And that's going to get you guys 3 stars. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like telling me what you guys think of the video. And I will talk to you guys next time.